Hi guys! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This video is a sketchbook tour. Actually, there are three sketchbooks here and these are all work in progress. But I decided to do a sketchbook tour because why not? Let's start with my favorite sketchbook so far, which is this one. It's my favorite because it's the nicest and actually more expensive sketchbook that I have and it has the most content. The brand of this sketchbook is Victoria's Journals and look at the cover. So nice, right? And it is also very functional. There are several compartments here and this one I put here some envelopes, you know, just to be ready in case I meet a godson or a goddaughter, niece or nephew, and I want to give a gift for the birthday or Christmas. And let's go back here in front. There's a compartment. It has nothing inside. Here's another compartment. I put some dollars here before, but I used my dollars when I went to the U.S., so it has nothing now. I'll put probably some of my other bills from other countries. Before we go there, let's go to the back and see the compartment here. I actually have some stuff here. Let's pull them out okay. and go through these items briefly. I have here a postcard from Seoul, South Korea. This one I got in Penang, Malaysia when I went there with my good friend James in 2016. Here's a postcard of a sunflower that I got from I can't remember where. Here's a postcard given by Ayen from Cambodia. And the three postcards that I bought in Hawaii during my layover. This one is an artwork from my cousin Paula of Paula Rides. Let's just return the artwork and the postcards in this compartment. Let us now open the sketchbook and start our tour. On the first page, you will see paintings of the logo of Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Yahoo Mail, and the phone number. I don't have the details here yet because I wanted for my cousin to write the details for me because she's good at calligraphy, Paula writes, by the way, but I never got to ask her, so now I will have to put in the details myself. The next page, I did not start here because it wouldn't spread properly and I decided to start here. And we have here my face, my very big face <laughs> from 2016 and stickers from some of the places that I want to visit. So these stickers were given to me by my friend Julie, except for this one, the sushi, which is close to Japan, from Nigi. This is actually a travel planner or a travel sketchbook. Summer, Christmas, New Year, pizza, boarding pass, panda. This is a ticket from an Astros game that I went to. So totally random. Here, what to bring. So let's proceed. These are the stuff that I want to bring for when I quit my job and travel the world. I don't know when that's gonna be, but I'm so prepared that I already listed and drew and painted the stuff that I will bring, which include a small luggage. I also will bring a backpack and a sling bag. So you'll see here basics. The colors are black, white, and gray because these are easy to wash colors and easy to mix and match but they have here a yellow one and it says here this is for gala or for sleepwear so i added a bit of color in the stuff that i want to bring here are pants skirt 
shorts and the colors that i want them to be we have shawl towel handkerchief it's so detailed that i even have my undergarments here and then of course the other travel essentials i can't travel without my passport photocopy of my documents so wallet pouch this notebook is even here and other essentials like here lock and lock I cannot leave without my powder, my baby powder, which works as a face powder for me. I, we have here footwear, uh, gadgets. By that time, I would have a Mac laptop because right now I have an HP laptop. So where to go? The first place that I have here, actually the only country that I have so far, in this journal slash sketchbook is the united kingdom and the reason is because my nephew isaac lives there so it has to be the first place that i will visit and i intend to stay there for three probably even maximize it to six months so sheffield because this is the specific city where my nephew lives and sheffield is located in this part in england I also included some descriptions, by the way, and the first under Sheffield is art scene because I'm the type of person who visits museums first before everywhere else. We have here the Western Park Museum, the Millennium Gallery, and the Graves Art Gallery. I've actually been to the Western Park Museum and Millennium Gallery already but I have yet to visit the Graves Art Gallery. The next is still under the art scene would be the street art. I have seen a lot of street art in Sheffield already, but there are still a lot more that I want to see and some of which I indicated here. And then visiting Calham Island, which is UK's best neighborhood, according to one article that I saw. I've been to this part. I can't remember if I've seen this, but this is popular apparently. And this one. And there are also other points of interest in Calham Island. I wasn't really able to see a lot of Calham Island and I look forward to coming back. We have here Sheffield City Center which includes the Sheffield Station, the Winter Garden, the Town Hall, and this area overlooking the city center. I've been to all these places, but would love to revisit them and do a vlog about them. So we have here the Cathedral of St. Mary, the Sheffield Cathedral, Wheel of Sheffield, and the Devonshire Green. I've been to these three places but have yet to visit the Devonshire Green. I also indicated other points of interest in Sheffield. And of course, shopping. My favorite store is the Poundland, which sells mostly one pound items. So you can buy, like here, two cans of soda for one pound. We have here novels for a pound or less, even less notebook, and chocolates. Another shopping place is Ikea. I've been there. And this one is Meadow Hall. I haven't been there, so I would love to visit this mall. And now we're at the British food. So I've indicated here English breakfast, afternoon tea, fish and chips, and listed some other popular british food most of which i haven't tried yet so i'm looking forward to eating those one of the things that i look forward to going back to the uk is to go to charity shops and what can you buy there some of the items that you can get there are clothes books and i've indicated here specifically harry potter because harry potter is from the uk we have shoes and other footwear jewelry bags and purses a girl can dream maybe i can get a louis vuitton a gucci and other designer bags for cheap prices who knows finally i think this is the last page here which has content and it 
is under Hillsborough Park. It's not yet complete. It's a work in progress. I started doing this journal in January. Did it for just a few weeks because I got busy with life. And so it's not yet finished. It's a good thing that I saw this now and I have some time so I can continue working on this sketchbook. We actually still have two more sketchbooks but this vlog is already too long so I'll just scroll over the sketchbooks. This one is travel related. Mm -hmm. This is also work in progress. I'll do another vlog when I have more content for this sketchbook. And for the final one, this is related to, guess what? <laughs> K-dramas! We have here Reply 1988 scenes. Here's Takey, Duxon, Jungkwan, Duxon, although they really don't look like the characters. We have here Reply 1994. We have... Here, supposedly four movies, but I only have one here and more movies. Also work in progress. That's it for this vlog and see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.